Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle Gabrielle. So I'm back again with another hair tutorial. Everyone has been asking me how I got this braid pony. So I'm going to be showing you guys that today. But before I get into it, you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Alright, so first I'm going to be starting off with blow dried hair. And you guys, let me know how y'all feel about my hair growth. Like, I feel like it's growing, but I feel like it's just been growing a little bit slowly. But come on, the inches are coming. I'm excited to see where we're going to get. But now I'm going to start by just flat ironing my hair. I'm going to be doing one pass, so I'm not really trying to get it bone straight. I'm just trying to get it straight enough so that the ponytail is going to be really, really flat. But just make sure you guys are using some heat protectant when you're doing this. And next I'm going to be using my hot comb just to get my edges and make sure that part is really straight too. And y'all make sure you get the back too. <laughs> make sure you get the back. Now I'm splitting my hair in half. I'm going to work on the back half first and getting that part into the ponytail. And then I'm going to do the front portion. So just go ahead and make sure you brush that part out. And then I'm going to take the got to be glue spray and just go ahead and spray that all over. Y'all, I don't know. I wasn't confident that the got to be glue spray will work because whenever i try it i just always have some trouble but for this ponytail it definitely did do its job so you just want to make sure you're blow drying your hair and brushing in between but i sprayed one time and then i blow dried and then i sprayed another time and blow dried And then moving on to the front, you're just going to do the same exact thing. Brush the front part of your hair into the back and go ahead and spray that with the got to be glue again. And blow dry and brush and blow dry. So once you got that down packed and your pony is starting to stiffen up, just go ahead and place the scrunchie wherever you want your ponytail to be. And you're going to go ahead and put your scarf on to lay your edges while you work on your braid. Alright, so now moving on, I'm going to be using the expression hair. I used the pack that has three in it. So I'm just brushing it out. In this part, you're going to put the scrunchie, put the rubber band on halfway on the braiding hair. And then you're going to wrap your hair with only half of the braiding hair and then you're going to flip the rest of the braiding hair over so your hair should be in the middle in between one part of the braiding hair then it should be your hair and then it should be the second part of the braiding hair So once you have that part down, I'm going to start taking out a section of hair to wrap around the ponytail to cover the scrunchie. You're going to go ahead and brush that section out and you're going to start spraying it and wrapping it and spraying it and wrapping it. Just make sure it's not too big of a section because you don't want it to look too bulky. You also want to make sure you're brushing in between to make sure it's smooth. Once you get to the very end, you can just keep spraying the got to be and if you want you can secure it with a pin depending on how long you plan on keeping the style in because it definitely will start unraveling if you're only using the got to be. 
So now I'm going to begin the braid. So I'm going to be splitting my real hair and the braiding hair into three sections. So each section of braiding hair should have a little bit of my real hair in it. Making sure my real hair is evenly divided. Alright, so I braid it down about four to five times and then I'm going to add my very piece, first piece of braiding hair and you're going to add it underneath the braid, not on top of the braid. In total, I added about eight pieces of hair throughout, but you want to make sure you're starting off a little thicker and then gradually thinning out the pieces. So my first five strands of hair, how I added it is that I would braid about one, two, three, and then once I got back to the same side is when I would add the braiding hair. But when you're starting to see your braid thin out, that's when you can start decreasing the amount of hair you're adding and only add where you see that your hair is thinning out and you need the braid to look a little thicker. Whenever you see the hair starting to get a little tangled, just go ahead and brush it so that you can smooth the hair out. And once I got to the very end, I kind of just put the braid in my mouth and I just kept on braiding so that I can have a firm braid. Once you get to the end, you just want to make sure you brush it out and you can take a rubber band and wrap it at the end to secure the braid. And now I'm just going to go throughout the braid and just go ahead and spread out any sections that don't look quite right just so that the braid could look nice and even throughout. And last, I'm going to wrap this perm rod, well wrap the hair around the perm rod, and then I'm going to dip the hair into some boiling hot water. You just want to make sure you don't dip the braid into the boiling hot water because the braid is going to get smaller, so only the end. And then go ahead, dry that off with a towel. Hey you guys, it is the next morning, and this is how the pony is looking. I did see a little bit of flaking, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs first. Just like take some hairs out. I'm gonna use some Eco Styling Gel. with a bit of style factor.
And last, I'm gonna go in with this black edges, um, just so that I can make my edges look a little bit darker. that's it for my edges i'm going to spray some more got to be and i'm gonna take my scarf to just seal all of that stuff in At the end of the braid, I still have the curl I slept in it. So I'm just gonna take that down. And we just got this nice little bounce. Just wanna open the ends of the braid so it can get a fuller effect. This is the end for the braid tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. You guys will be doing a huge favor. And if you try this hairstyle out, let me know how it goes. Bye, you guys. Love you so much. Thank you all for the support.